What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to my game, School Bus Simulator Starline. Uh, it's getting very close to the winter release for my game. And I figured we would just go ahead and make a video on it before all the fall stuff is being removed. Um, and I'll go ahead and talk about some of the things I'm adding, some of the things I'm removing. Uh, yes, some things are being removed. Um, so let's go ahead and spawn in a bus. Um, Let's go. We gotta go. Bluebird Vision. I honestly like the Bluebird Vision because if you, I, I like the um, I guess you would call it aerodynamics. But when you're driving this bus, if you pay attention, it moves from like side to side, like it's actually shaking. It's not necessarily anything to do with suspension, which I mean, I guess it could be, but it it it's not crazy on suspension, is what I mean. So, um, <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and hop in it. Um, should we turn the radio on? No, probably not. Let's go ahead and open this window. Uh, you know, it's going to be fall or winter time here soon. So I'm not going to be able to enjoy this very nice, uh, weather too much longer. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Look at this guy is turning really orange. So what happens here is, uh, when it passes 630, the lighting kind of changes, um, I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it's going to do the same for the winter update. Uh, there's a script that I use for the time clock and it just gives a, you know, it gives that ambient sound in the morning time along with like a, a morning setting lighting. Um, but yeah, if you notice, it kind of changes color around 630. So um, we'll start the bus and we'll do a, uh, we'll do an AM route since it is in fact AMs. Um, and then we'll go ahead and talk about some of the things I'm removing. Um, so we'll start with um, the mini map. Um, it's not being removed from the game completely. I'm just going to put it away for a little bit because um, I, I think it might be a source of lag. I'm not entirely sure. Um, what this is, is it's a viewport. Uh, and what it does is it kind of, uh, I, think, I think what it does, um, it like duplicates a lot of things around you and it puts it in the viewport viewport frame or whatever i don't know that for a fact i did have some help making this uh mini map so um i i don't entirely know that for sure but it is being disabled for the time being in the next update um just because i want to see if it'll reduce lag perhaps i don't know um Roblox has this like new UI thing here. Um, uh, so I'm moving this bus spawner thing down a little bit. So it's kind of aligned with this. Um, that's already actually been done. Um, I don't want to kind of spoil everything, but um, so yeah, the mini map is being, re or I guess I should just say disabled. It's being disabled for a little while. Um, and look, if you pay attention, this bus kind of look, look, it moves from like sides. Actually, you can really, see it from the inside see it kind of moves side to side like that eh, yeah um what else what else what else what else um i kind of redid the chat tags a little bit not really um i just changed up the colors a little bit uh i'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed your ranks have changed in the group you're now company operators um if you know you get that just by joining the group um, that's the default rank there. Um, and then I have uh, company uh, dispatchers, which uh, isn't a thing just yet. Um, still still trying to figure something out. I want to try to add a uh, or create a, a, a bot for the group. That way I can don't have to rank people manually. Um, that takes a lot of work, uh, you know, with um, third party software stuff like Python or Java, you know. Um, and I'm not very good at it, so it'd be a little hard to create my own uh, and I don't want to have to Purchase somebody else's bot for one. That's just a waste of money, too. That's you know You're giving them access to your group essentially, so I don't know I'm kind of stuck in between and, and it's it's a little weird because I think back to Midwest bus company and how they do their thing where, where you like you buy their ranks and somebody just ranks you um, I don't have enough people to do that. That's the thing. And I can't watch the group 100% of the time. So, um, yeah. So, uh, that's still being a thing. Um, something I'm looking into finding a solution to. 
Um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to like uh, NPCs, passengers. Um, they still have tried different systems. They aren't currently working with the uh, with the buses. Um, I'm trying to find. I, I got something kind of working, but it, it it doesn't work properly. I guess you could say. Um, I got kids to swan in and they get on the bus, but getting them off is a little trickier for some reason. Um, like I said, it, it's still being worked on. It's something that, um, it, it, it is kind of my main priority because I know that's something very big and a lot of people have want. Um, another thing is the, uh, the mobile optimization for the ambers and the reds and the doors. Uh, that's another thing. I, I'll probably end up having to make my own um, G, uh, GUI for that. Uh, the one that I have now, I found, uh, and I just put it there to be temporarily. Um, so mobile users can actually drive the bus, but they can't really operate it. You know what I mean? They can't turn on the turn signals. They can't turn on the lights, but they can drive the bus. And I figured, I've said this before, but, you know, it's better to just drive the bus than to not do anything, you know? So... Um, if you guys could just bear with me on that, I get a lot of questions about that. Um, when is, you know, mobile optimization coming? Um, that's something that I haven't worked on as much. Uh, it, it's honestly probably something I'm going to have to hire somebody to do because, um, I don't know. It's just, if, if I, if I built this Huxley bus myself and I made all the scripts myself, I could do it. No problem. But the thing is, I don't know much about all the scripts in this bus so and they are very similar to gen x but gen x um even then i when i worked at uh, nbc a lot um i couldn't well that wasn't even my priority but uh as you guys know you know nbc doesn't allow uh, mobile users in their games so um it's not something i would have even worked on anyway but i'm sure it's the same issue there But yeah, another thing that's being removed is the uh, street display. So the street display and the mini or the mini map are both being removed. Um, if you want to see why, uh, let's look at here. Um, so this is being updated as well. Uh, for it, it, it accounts for every light pole in the game every second. Uh, it was a horrible system. I just fixed it. Um, that's gonna be. It's not gonna show up like that uh, in the uh, in the winter update. Um, and what that is is uh, it turns the the light poles on at night at a certain time at night, um, so it accounts for what time of day it is and if it's on or off. So, and I like I said I just fixed that so it doesn't look that sloppy anymore. Um, another thing, so with the street display, um, uh, that might actually, well. I don't know. I might keep the street display in. I actually don't know. I'm keeping the time clock in. Um, there is something going on with the level system. I'm not going to tell you guys because that's probably the biggest thing about this next update. I'm not going to um, tell you guys what's going on there. You're just going to have to wait to find out. Um, but speaking of the next update, I think it will be my biggest update for this game yet. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to come out and say it. There, are, there aren't going to be any buses in this update. Uh, there could have been, but I decided I'm not going to add a bus just yet. I've actually just, um, I actually might add a bus, um, uh, Christmas Eve, maybe. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and then after that, the, the whole buses thing is going to kind of slow down. The next few buses might be game passes, actually. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, there's not going to be any new buses in this update. Um, no NPCs, no mobile optimization. I know that's something people were looking forward to, but not in this update, unfortunately. Mm. Let me just look at my update log here. I kind of have it written down because, um, or I mean already typed up because I don't want to have to miss anything here um let's see 
Uh, so you guys know about the map expansion? That's something that's going to be kind of completed uh, following the re release of this update. Um, that's going to be one of very many expansions. Um, I plan to make this map at least two times the size. Because um, as you guys know, it is not that big. It's not that big of a map. I plan to add a lot more stuff, um, such as the uh, bowling alley, which I did a sneak peek for. Uh, it's the first field trip location in the game now, the bowling alley. So, um, And I need to build a lot more because field trip locations are very big. Um, so, And I thought the first one should be a bowling alley. So... Um, yeah, I won't go over that. Uh, the Wall of Fame, that's kind of started already. Um, you guys, that's over there where the map expansion is, uh, putting a bunch of your names on the wall. Um, I also put in a Frequently Asked Questions tab in game. I replaced this, the help thing, for Frequently Asked Questions. So um, that's going to be there. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Um, there is a bunch more to cover, but like I said, I don't want to spoil it. So, um, I think this next update's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be better than the fall update, in my opinion. Um, for those of you who want new buses, I do apologize. That's not coming just yet. Um, I like to kind of spread things out, um, when it comes to updates, um, Although this is a pretty big update, so I guess I could have fit in a bus, but uh, I don't think I have time to spec the bus now. Um, no. Uh, speaking of, I don't know when I'm going to release the update. Um, I thought about December 1st, but uh, NBC is dropping theirs December 1st, I think. Uh, between the 1st and the 5th, so... Um, and uh, Upstate Region is dropping there is November 30th. Uh, let's go this way. So I kind of, I might want to do it maybe even before then, honestly. As you guys know, winter doesn't even start until December 21st, I believe. So we're all a little early, but um, I think winter is just so amazing. So I might actually do mine early. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Um, player count in current players, it averages around 15 daily. Uh, whenever I look at the game, a lot of times I'll see it at 15, maybe 17 concurrent players. And what that means is players that are currently active in the game by the time I'm viewing it. Uh, and that, that's not bad, I don't think. I mean, for a game this size and this new, um, it, it, it's honestly, I'm totally fine with it. It's, it's more than I actually wanted um, because my first thought when I released this game was like, okay, people are going to play it when it first launches and then they're going to back off, right? But no, people are actually playing this game. And, and that means the world to me, honestly. It really does. If only I could get... That's another thing, the spawner as well. It's not working the greatest. I've mentioned that before. It, it's... I, I do want a new spawner. I don't want to have to build my own, but if I have to... I could... Uh, and I can't promise it'll be as good as this one. Or, like, visually, you know? But um, it might operate a little better. I don't know. There's just so many scripts in this bus spawner. And the GUI is not even a, uh, it's not even a GUI. It's all script related based, you know. Um, so it, to edit all this stuff, you have to go through tons of scripts and things, which I guess at the time was more like, uh, well, how would you say it? It was more um, organized, I guess you could say. He put it all in one script. So, I mean, or not one script, a few scripts. Um, but preferably, I like my... Anything GUI-related, I like it in starter GUI. I like to make it myself. Uh, and not out of lines of scripts, though. I don't know. 
it's just easier to edit. Anyway, we're going to head back to the lot. Uh, we're going to take this way, though. Oh, I might have to fix that. Actually, let's go left. Wait, is there no stop sign there? <gasps> oh, I forgot a stop sign. I thought there used to be a stop sign there. Huh. I thought for sure when I made this game, I made sure every corner, every intersecting street had a stop sign. I guess I might have missed one there. I don't know. But um, I will actually show you guys. Yeah, I'm. Oh, what the heck? Oh, the water is non existing there. Okay. That's weird. All right. Um, I'll show you guys on foot when we get out the bus with the. Uh, um, the uh, street display script does. Uh, I've got this billboard in here too to generate some revenue, but. For some reason, I'm like older. I'm like my account's 17 plus or 18 plus, and I can't view ads for some reason. It makes no sense at all. I don't know why, but uh, I guess some people can view ads or something. I don't know. Um. So the reason I think, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me get back here. Okay. Boom. Very nice. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. So, uh, so every time we walk around, uh, oh, you know what? I might have already put out an update for it. Uh, let me see here. Ah, now here we go. It's in client. Um, so it's client based, not server based. So actually, these are just prints. Um, every time you walk, it'll just kind of update, but it updates like twice for some reason. Parking lot. Yeah, I think it's just a, uh, just a verify. I think that's what that is. I don't know. I might keep it in the game. I think I might. Then again, it is still a little broken. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't display what street you're on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a video um, kind of uh, wrapping up this autumn update, uh, moving forward into the winter update. Um, if you guys have any last-minute suggestions, let me know. I'll see if I can add them. Um, any, yeah, any suggestions are much appreciated. I definitely want to uh, make this game more player-friendly for sure. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are excited for the winter, winter update, let me know. Um, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.